In 1955, a severe drought, which saw public prayers being offered for rain, brought home the need for a new reservoir in the Derwent Valley. But how do you go about building a dam that will create one of the biggest inland waters in Britain? A dam big enough to hold back 11,000 million gallons of water. That's 20,000 Olympic swimming pools or 44 Wembley stadiums. It had to be 3,000 foot long and 119 foot higher than the old river level. Taking six years and five and a half million pounds to complete, this really was a fantastic feat of engineering. Firstly, the River Derwent had to be diverted through a huge tunnel. Then, after the dam was built, just like filling up the bath, or 625 million baths, they put a plug in, a concrete plug, 25 feet thick to be precise. All this was not without problems, as you can imagine. Clays, silts and gravel, all naturally soaked with water, had to be drained to provide a sturdy base. Ingeniously, this unwanted water was forced up and out through thousands of vertically bored sand drains as the dam settled and squashed the layers underneath. Opened in 1967 by Princess Alexandra, the reservoir provides a reliable daily yield of 30 million gallons, as well as a dam-fine wildlife habitat and a great place to visit.